guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a Walmart beauty box. You might have remembered that I've done a Target beauty box video before in the past. I can link that below just to refresh your memory. Um, this is something similar where Walmart was selling beauty boxes for, I want to say, 5 or $7 at the time. I think they've gone up since, like a couple dollars. Um, but basically you, you're supposed to get a few products that are sample or full size and basically what you're paying for the box is nothing compared to what you get in the box. Um, this isn't like a subscription service like Ipsy or Birchbox or any of those. Um, it's just every so often. Some of them are like quarterly. Some of them are just really random. I can't keep track. Um, but I got this one several months ago. I just have a little remark to make. I ordered this Walmart beauty box probably three months ago at least. It was back when I, fir when I first saw and heard about them. I had gotten the Target beauty box maybe halfway through the year last year and um, then the Walmart one came a couple months later and I was like cool I'll try this one too um, because you really have nothing to lose. It's five bucks and you're supposed to get some good products. Okay, so I ordered it. I'm, I'm telling you, I think it was around September. It was like the fall edition or something like that. I ordered it. They charged my credit card and I wait and I wait. And still, I'm seeing more people doing the haul videos and showing and comparing to Target's because Target got another at the time. And I'm waiting. And then after, I don't know, maybe a month, I got an email saying how it shipped. Okay. So I'm like, well, that was weird, but maybe they just ran out of stock, so I'll wait again. Waiting, waiting, waiting. It never dawned on me to contact them and be like, hey, where's my box? Or can I get a refund? Or anything like that. Because I just assumed I have to get it sometime, right? So, let's zoom forward to around Christmas time, 2014, is when I got this box. So it took about a month to ship, and then it took about three months from when I ordered it two months from when it shipped, to actually receive this box, which leads me to believe that it didn't ship when it said it did, or that they lost the shipment and then finally found that out and reshipped my box, or something like that. And here's the thing too, what's in this box, I'm pretty sure was not in the box that I ordered originally and intended to get. Now you are able to get two different versions, basically um, I think it's based on your age and or lifestyle. and you know, I, I had ordered it after I saw like 11th Gorgeous and Emily Noel 83 get theirs. And I was pretty sure I knew what I was going to get. Now, I haven't looked back to see exactly what they got because I honestly don't remember. Um, but I got one. I'm going to show you guys what I got. And yeah, but I just, I can't say that I would ever do it with Walmart again. Target shipped mine right away. I got two at the time because I got one for myself and I gave one away. Um, I got great products, great service. They did great. Walmart, not so much. I mean, <laughs> and it's just ironic because I'm a person who likes Target over Walmart for everything in general anyway. But this is just kind of, I don't know, a lack of communication, good customer service, confusion. It's just, it was too much. But here we go, guys. So, looks like this has pictures of makeup swatches on the side, which is cool, and says L'Oreal Paris on the bottom. So, you open it, and it's like not as fancy as the Target Beauty Box either, but I honestly don't care about that. So, it says, help to find your beauty, find these products and more at your local Walmart or walmart.com slash Walmart Beauty. So, first product I see is Jurgen's BB Body cream and this is for the light skin tones. I already have something like this. It's just okay. It's not something that I use religiously. Um, this is actually, I want to say a smaller sample size than I got. I believe I actually originally got this in the Target Beauty Box as well. Don't, don't quote me, but I think. And again, it's just okay. Next thing I got, this is honestly something I'm excited for, is a Maybelline lipstick. Now, I don't know what line this is from. It has the shiny light pink packaging. It says it's new and it says it's in the color Maple Kiss. So I'm excited for this one because I don't have a color like this. This is more of a color that tanner or darker skin tones would use typically for like a nude color. Um, so I'm going to have to see if I can rock it. It's, it's a lot browner than I'm used to using, but I'm thinking with the right look, 
like the right outfit and the right eyes, I think I can make it work because I'm making the brighter lips work. So maybe I can make the browns work too. I don't know. Next things I see are the L'Oreal Oleotherapy Hair Expertise Sulfate-Free System. They are, they are oil-infused shampoo and conditioner. It's like a tongue twister for me today, apparently. Um, six flower oils, intense nutrition, and silky feel. These, they say 100% sulfate-free. No harsh salts, no parabens, natural botanicals, and 100% vegan. I'm excited to try these because I've never tried shampoo and conditioner. This luxurious sounding from the drugstore and yeah. So I'm wondering if they're any good and I will find out soon enough. The last actual item I see is an Olay Fresh Effects Everything Off Deluxe Makeup Removal Wet Cloth. You get seven in here. I would think you'd get at least ten, but that's just me. Fancy packaging and basically I've tried the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream when I got it from Influencer and that was good. So I'm thinking these will be good. This is a small size that you can throw like in your travel bag or whenever you're going to use it. Um, I'm sure these will be put to good use. So then lastly, you get some card samples. So first I got the Nivea Cocoa Butter Lotion sample. So this is good for like one use. Um, I want to say, no, that was suave. I love the Vaseline Cocoa Butter Lotion. It's my favorite cocoa butter lotion. It's an amazing lotion in general because it smells amazing. It's affordable and it's moisturizing. And I did a review on that and you guys really seem to like it. So I'll link that below. But I've tried the Suave Cocoa Butter Lotion, and i got to say that just does not smell that great to me. Um, so we will see how the Nivea one is. You also get two? No, just, oh, I guess it was in here. Oops. But um, you get a coupon to save a dollar on the back. And the couponing person in me loves that. Then the next sample is by Maybelline. This is Dream Wonder Powder. I have used that in the past. This is... What shade is this? I don't know. It's that shade, whatever that shade is, which may be slightly too dark for me, but I'll see if I can make it work. Um, and then again, you get a coupon on the back, which is expired because it expired at the end of 2014, and that's why this was inconvenient for me to get so late. Oh well. So that's all that's in the box. You also get a card about, you know, the Walmart Beauty Box. And all that good stuff, I will most definitely be hashtagging Walmart Beauty and telling them exactly how I feel about this. Um, but basically, I, I don't think it's a bad box for $5. It's not as good as what I originally intended to get when I originally ordered this. So that's kind of a letdown. Again, I'm probably not going to reorder this one just because it was unreliable and confusing and... Honestly, I thought I'd never get it, so just not really worth it for me. I definitely recommend the Target Beauty Boxes. Those, I think, are also going up from like 5 to 7 or $8, but you still get a really good amount of good stuff and better customer service, so go check out that video if you want to see that one. Personally, I like that bo box better. This wasn't bad. My favorite thing from it is probably the lipstick. Getting me out of my comfort zone, that's for sure, but um... Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video for what it's worth. Let me know if you guys ended up getting a Walmart beauty box and if this ended up happening to you or you got a bit more lucky. I hope. I wouldn't want this to happen to you guys just because it's stressful. It's like, okay, I purchased something, it charged to my credit card, and I'm not getting it. So what's going on? But that's my little ramble and box for you guys. Don't forget to, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.